today I found some of the most cursed mods that I honestly don't even know why exist. And I'm gonna show you why. Alexis RC. Look at this, bro. If you put this spoiler like on a plane, it's gonna fly with no issues, okay? But aside from the aerodynamics and the questionable body kit that is honestly not in my taste, the car is not too bad, okay? Like, yes, it does have some small issues on the windows and the headlights have no textures, but it's okay because the car is fast. But the thing that is like kind of weird with this car is that it's fast, but it, does, it just doesn't turn, okay? This car is weird. It's not too bad, but it's enough to drive me crazy, okay? This spoiler has the great ability of holding the car on the ground and at the same time in disguise. I don't know how it works, but somehow it works, okay? Which is great engineering, I'm not gonna lie. Very, very impressive. And oh! We got some damage, but it's not too bad, okay? I think this car is not great, okay? Putting it in simple words, it's not a good car. I didn't enjoy driving this, okay? Here I got a Gable Vertex. It's a very popular mod, but damn! It literally is just some car with a cannon on top of it that can just obliterate some innocent dude with just one button. The one problem is that it doesn't turn. I mean, it does, but <laughs> it just flips every time you do. So I gotta be very careful driving this, okay? But I don't think it's gonna be that big of a problem. I absolutely love cars like this because there's just one purpose and one purpose only. If you have something that is kind of annoying you, you can just do this. And <laughs> oh my god. God! So as you can see, it does have a purpose. I think it's just really nice to have something like this. I don't think, honestly, anyone is gonna want to be in my way with something like this on top of the car. And if they will, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop them like this. There you go. <laughs> God damn, bro. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, my car is fine. It's still driving, but his car is... It's destroyed. It's gone. Let's get something that is a little bit smaller and a little bit less insane, okay? Real quick, we recently hit 3,000 subscribers, and we are definitely not planning on stopping here. So if you just like and subscribe, that will help me a lot. That's kind of about it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. All right, so here we got something that looks like a pigeon, but if we go here, it does Definitely it's not a pigeon because if I'm gonna be honest, it's just weird, okay? We got the police on us, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get away from the police on a pigeon that is definitely <laughs> not built like a pigeon, okay? I don't think it's too bad. Oh my god, this guy just wants to kill me. Okay, we got some small damage, but um, it's okay, it happens. Wait, did I just obey the police again? I think I did. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. But honestly, bro, if they're stupid like this, you don't need that, okay? Jet, just, just, oh my, bro, there was like FBI on me, like, that was a trap, bro. They are smarter than I thought. Now I'm gonna get something that they're gonna have absolutely no chance of stopping, okay? The long UT series. Now I don't think there's going to be any police that is gonna be able to stop this. Did you see that police guy? Don't care. With this thing, I'm gonna be able to destroy everything in my way. You see, this guy in front of me, he's just a little bit too slow. So I'm just gonna give him a, a small push. There you go. Now he's out of my way and maybe he's gonna learn a lesson. This guy is breaking in front of me. And you know, I'm driving a truck and... Oh, Jesus! Damn, I'm burning now too. I gotta be a little bit more careful. I don't like crashing into poles. That's not my thing. But you know what is my thing? My thing is crashing into cars. Exactly, bro. There you go, man. Before the police comes here, I'm just gonna do that real quick. And I'm just gonna draw away like nothing happened. Oh my god, poor guys, poor people. I'm sorry. Guys, you're not allowed to do this, okay? I have a flat tire. I think I'm legally allowed to do this cool move and I just... Wait, they actually catch me. Bro, this bumper ruined everything. Really, bro? All right, man, I had enough. I want to get something better, something futuristic. There you go, something new, something better, and god damn, it is really fast. I did not expect this thing to be that fast. And oh my god, I'm, I almost died in this thing. Look at that glass on the side of the car. Imagine a Ford F-150 is just gonna go 60 miles per hour right in that glass. Brother, you're gonna be gone. But you know what, I guess that's okay. The one thing that I think is very weird is that like, there's no steering wheel. I, I like cars having steering wheels, okay? I like when I can turn my own car. I would never let a car with this much horsepower do this. Oh my god. That looks stupid. Jeez, bro. I wonder what could kill this car. My mission now is to kill it, okay? Oh, damn. Damn. 
Honestly, I thought it's gonna be a lot harder to destroy this car, but apparently it isn't. All right, now let's get to something else. Okay, so here we got a Nissan Altera, which is, as we all know, an insane sports car. A hyper car, even. On a track, like uh, Nürburgring, this thing can go faster than a Bruh. Nissan GTR or a uh, Huracan. I don't know, bro. This thing is really fast. And you know how I know it? It's because of that spoiler, God damn it. That's right, because we all know that the cars that have four doors, big ass spoilers, and um... Very tiny roll cages. They are always fast, bro. They always have like 3,000 horsepower under the hood and another 10,000 in the trunk. Exactly, bro. That's how the racing world works, okay? This is insane. I mean, dude, we're going 50 miles up the hill. That's just using 1% of the power that this car has. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at this guy. This car is not only a race car, it's also a tank, because it's a Nissan Altera. And also a car that can jump everywhere and do anything that you want. And after all of that, it can go perfectly on a track. This is like the most functional car and the most functional spoiler that I've ever seen. I'm not even gonna have to break and it's gonna go into the corner without any issues, okay? Yeah, I overestimated the car's abilities a little bit. Hopefully you guys are not gonna get mad at me for crashing this absolute masterpiece of a car. Here you can see a normal supercar that has nothing special in it. But if we hit one button, it's gonna start transforming. Now we got two thrusters, goddammit. And if we just press one button now, they're gonna turn on. There you go. Oh my god, I'm dead, I'm dead. Jesus, bro, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. With cars like this, I forget that I am really bad at driving and I crashed a lot. I think the second time is a charm, okay? And oh my god! I crashed again, but this time it wasn't that bad, okay? This time I think I got lucky. There you go, now with a straight line, I can turn- No, I cannot, I cannot turn on the thrusters. Let me get on the highway, so I'll be fine and I won't crash. Well, this is not the highway, but it's fine. No, 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 it's not fine. It definitely is not fine. Just let me use the thrusters, okay? Maybe I have to get up to the speed, and then when I'm up to speed, I have to use the thrusters. Yes, wait, I was right! I knew how it works! Wait, god, no! Holy, bro. I'm dead, bro. But now I'm actually wondering how fast this thing can go. So I'm gonna press that precious button that's gonna make the thrusters go out. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can. Oh my god, wait, what, what happened? God damn! No! Jesus, bro. Still going, though. I'm still going. Jesus Christ! Oh! Dude, the engine has, like, its own orbit now. God damn. No, guys, I cannot drive this, man. This is too much. I just want to show you something cool. Um, it's a forklift. Oh it's really cool. Who doesn't Who doesn't like a forklift? And I like it. It's really It's really cool. It's a fun thing. So I guess that's kind of about it. And But well, before the video ends, I just want to let you know that we do have a Discord server. People there are very friendly, so feel free to join. Link is going to be in the description. So that's kind of about it. And see you in the next one.